Hello everyone. How is everyone doing? Well, my name is Lucia. I am a feminine energy coach and also expert in manifestation. So please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, watch my other videos. I talk about manifestation, energy, feminine essence. So if you are interested, yes, click the button. So, well, today I want to talk about what it means to become one with your desire. And this is a concept that I didn't understand quite well before. And actually now it just, it just clicked. I cannot even explain, you know, sometimes you are into one concept and you think you understand it, but you quite not. And then one day you're like, now I get it. Now I understand it. So this happened to me a couple of weeks ago and what it means to become one with your desire. First of all, you need to make like, be clear, super clear in what is what you desire. Not your brain, I talk about that in another video, your heart. What is your heart desiring? What is what you want? Not going into your brain thinking, oh, but this is impossible because I don't have X, Y, Z. No, what is your heart telling you? Because whatever is in our heart is because we can have it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. Like, I don't want to be an astronaut, you know? I don't want to be a singer. So I know my desires are there because I can have them. So first one, as I said, is to make clear what is what you desire. Okay, we're clear on that. Second is stop focusing on what is not working and start seeing what is working. So you're focusing on your desire only. How do I do this? Uh, I create mantras and I repeat the mantras in my mind all the time. As I explained in another video, all the time is all the time. Not just like five minutes in the morning or five minutes when you are working out. No, all the time like a crazy person. Like if you have to stop watching TV, do that. But you have to repeat your mantras all the time. Okay, you are gonna start repeating your mantras and you will feel some resistance for sure. Uh, this is limiting beliefs. I will talk more about it in another video. I will create a new video about this because it's really interesting how your body will react to the mantras because it doesn't believe it. But you need to push through it and eventually like the mantras, the thoughts will become your reality. It will become your feelings. And then is when you know you became one with your desire. It feels just like so yummy. It feels so delicious. It feels amazing. I cannot explain. You just feel like, yeah, of course this is it. Like you'll be repeating your mantra and you know. And then people around you will start telling you what you are repeating in your mind, which is really funny and I know it's crazy, but it happens all the time. So this can take like, it depends on the person. For me, some mantras took like a month to click in some mantras less, so it just depending on your limiting beliefs. So, as I said, first, you get clear on what you desire. Second, you start repeating your mantras and push through the resistance. And third, you start feeling it. And you feel it, you live it in the end. This means living in the end. You embody your desire. Your desire in you is just one. It's just one whole concept. It's not two separate things. You are your desire. Your desire is you. And then the manifestation will come in so fast you won't even imagine. So, but these steps take time. You need to be patient. You need to be persistent. This is so important. I cannot like stress enough about it. Like it's so important to persist. Not give up. Just continue. Like you can even get sick. I got sick sometimes. I got like sore throat and I will just get like a flu, but this is normal. You continue. It doesn't matter. Don't, don't pay attention to it because the body is used to the comfort zone, which is the old beliefs. And sometimes getting our desires can be really, it can be like, we're afraid, you know, so because it's going out of our comfort zone. So yes. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. Please subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up if you like the, the video, of course. And you can contact me anytime. I have my email in the description box. 
and we can have like an assessment call and yeah i can help you through this process and many other things so yeah it was nice to see you and see you in the next one bye